All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. I am Gone in 60. Uh, this video, believe it or not, uh, I've been trying to make for two weeks straight. I don't know if you know our situation here in Texas, but uh, it's been raining every day since Labor Day uh, weekend. Uh, Today is the 16th. Um, lots happened since then. Um, my birthday was last week. Um, I made the big 47. Wow. Okay. Um, but anyway, this uh, video, um, I had to just go ahead and put it out. Um, it's been I've been sitting on it too long. I'm trying to finish it with some uh, with some pulls, some high speed pulls. Now that the bullet has been broken in, and uh, just wasn't working out for me. Um, so anyway, uh, before we get started, I'd like to take a shout out uh, to a couple of guys that I've been uh, keeping in contact with. Um, Coyote Car Guy, um, as you guys know, this guy, he just had a Whipple installed, so he's got some really awesome videos coming up pretty soon. Uh, kind of like a big brother, this guy is, uh, is, is, is really cool. So, um, you know, I when I do expand the channel, I expect to have another vehicle. Um, it's looking like it may be a Ranger Raptor. Um, but that's got to have a 2.7 liter twin turbo in it. If not, that's off the table, and maybe I'll do an F-150 with a with a Whipple. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> also, uh, rated our cars. Uh, been uh, corresponding back and forth with him a little bit. Um, this guy has the Shelby GT350, and it is awesome. I, I got to say, it is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, he just got some idiot dinged his car for him, and uh, he has invested in a dash cam. And I do have a video coming up with some reasons why you need a dash cam um, and uh, it contains some some pretty intense video on it um, other than that I, I do have to apologize for the video being shaky um, <clears throat> I have a new uh, camera mount and I did not realize that it was going to be a little bit uh, well as shaky as it was so I do apologize for that and the initial video was filmed with a lot of overcast so outside of the windows it's just white i mean there was gray clouds everywhere um sorry for the video quality um and uh it will get better i'm still experimenting with dash cam mounts um so um other than that uh at the end of the video um, i did install an air raid filter on the bullet um but uh enjoy the video and uh, please subscribe and uh, hit ring that bell, that notification bell, so that way the next video comes out and it'll just pop up to you. You'll be notified immediately. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. All right. We have passed the 1,000-mile mark, and now it's time to have a little fun. Today, I have reached the 1,000 mile mark. I actually have 1,006 miles on the car. Uh, so I want to do a little bit of a, do some pulls, do some high performance driving, just a little bit. I'm, I want to give you my uh, my opinion on the car. Um, and uh, this is something I've been waiting a while for. But uh, I am also trying out a new uh, camera mount and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if this angle is going to be the best angle um, today is uh, overcast uh, kind of sucks sun is not out yet so uh, hopefully I don't have any problems with the uh, focus on the camera or anything like that um, but anyway we're close to a spot that I go to to do some pulls so let's uh, let's check it out and see how it does Also have the uh, have the back seats down. Um, I noticed that if I put the back seats down, the uh, I get a lot more bass from the subwoofer, and um, and it, come on, people, you don't have a stop sign. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so I actually had to turn the bass down. I mean, this this Bang and Olufsen sound system is spectacular. Um, it, it sounds just like there's an aftermarket sound system in the car. Let's see if they'll let me on the highway. Ooh, shit. So I can definitely feel the, uh, the, 
performance parts that they put from the Shelby GT350 in here, the cold air intake, the 87 millimeter throttle body, and the upper intake, uh, this car pulls really hard in the higher RPMs. train in the upper RPM um, similar to the GT350 I have not gotten a chance to drive one yet but uh, boy if you wouldn't have been looking at your phone. Goodness. That first pull was was pretty awesome. Uh, this car pulls. I mean, I can't, I can't explain it. I guess you're going to have to... Uh, I don't know. How, it's just... It was just awesome. This car is definitely faster than my 2013 5.0. Um, the only mods I had on it was some exhaust done. Uh, had an X-pipe. Great. Uh, had an X-pipe, I had some Spintech mufflers on it, 3-inch mufflers, and uh, the rest of the stuff I did to it was uh, I had a suspension, Steeda suspension on it, um, lower control arms in the rear, uh, and I had the sway bars in the front and the rear, and uh, a couple other things. I had the uh, Blowfish Racing, uh, racing shifter bracket done to it, um, and uh, but the car was to say it was pretty much stock, the car was very, very fast, but this one is even faster. Um, let's go ahead and get this other pull done and see. When you get a new clutch installed in your car, uh, the, they usually say 500 miles is good enough for break-in. Um, you know, keep the RPMs low, no no full throttle starts or anything like that. Um, and uh, like I said, I kept it under 4,000. Most of the time, kept it under 3,500 on my shifts. And, uh, you know, no burnouts or anything like that. Uh, and it was very hard. <laughs> very hard, but I survived somehow. So the uh, the valve train, you know, the valves, the, the engine, stuff like that. Uh, I usually go a thousand miles uh, break in uh, just to be safe. I mean, you're supposed to get better gas mileage. Uh, you're supposed to get better horsepower. Um, I've done it on all my cars, all my Mustangs for sure. And uh, I, you know, I've never, I've always been very pleased with the results. So that's why I. Uh, this car definitely was going to do the a correct a correct break in. Let's just put it that way. Thank you, sir.
careful. Would not be a good day to go to jail. Note to self, watch RPM and the speedometer. So man, this car, I mean, 3,000 RPM and up it pulls, but I mean, you get into like 5,000, 6,000 RPM and this thing is pulling. Um, I've uh, seen some videos or, uh, you know, some speed shops are saying that the uh, the GTs, uh, they'll start, uh, they'll pull to around 7,100, 7, 7,200. Um, with the uh, intake and throttle body and, and uh, that this car has borrowed from the GT350, um, this car is supposed to pull all the way up to 7,500 RPM. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Okay, so back at the house, I have the car cover partially pulled off of the bullet. Um, I did remove the cone air filter, which is a paper air filter. Um, now it is the Shelby GT350 uh, cold air intake with the filter. I ordered the Air Aid, and it's called a Synthamax, and it is the uh, the blue, but it's the dry filter, so it's not oiled. Um, you can still clean it and reuse it, but you you don't use oil. So this is the paper filter. Uh, that came with the car uh, original and this is the new filter the new air aid filter it is supposed to uh, filter better it's supposed to flow more air which you know that means more horsepower and uh, like I said you can clean it but you do not re-oil it so it is a dry filter so I'm gonna install that real quick and uh, you know I don't think I'm gonna be able to feel Oh my God, I can feel the extra horses in there, but hey, it's it's there. Uh, supposed to be a little bit more horsepower, um, you know, more airflow, uh, more uh, more better filtration, um, and uh, it, it looks better also. But other than that, um, that's about it. And uh, hopefully as soon as we stop getting this rain here in Texas, I will be able to uh, uh, do another video with some, uh, some uh, pulls on the car. Uh, full throttle pulls not that the car is broken into so uh, <clears throat> uh, have over a thousand miles on it now so it's completely broken in and uh, we'll see you soon <laughs>